But I'm here with the uh, 2022 Alameda Commuters Tournament champion, Domingo Jojola. Uh, you've been playing in this for a long time, either 14 or 15 years old. Um, what does it mean to you right now with everything going on here? You just took a photo with the green, with the green jackets. It's obviously a special moment for you, it seems like. Yeah, you know, I've been playing this tournament for a long time, and uh, the guys here do an incredible job. All the green coats, you know, it just means so much to a lot of people here. Um, you know, like I, you, you mentioned, I've been playing this tournament for, you know, since I was 15 years old. So growing up, seeing both golf courses for a long, long time, and I know the golf courses, you know, we're only playing 18 holes now here, but um, it's super cool to, to join um, a really cool list of champions. A um, lot of history here, a lot of people with a lot of pride, you know, takes place in this in this tournament, in this event. So I'm, I'm honored and I'm happy um, that I was able to play exceptionally well today and it went my way. You've seen this this tournament in a lot of different ways, the old course and the new course. Uh, what makes this new redesigned South course um, so special and so challenging? You know, it always blows out here, so the wind is, is normally a factor. Um, it was actually, it was pretty benign the last couple of days, you know, blew maybe a club to two clubs, but it's, it always blows out here. The greens are fantastic here. Um, I was talking with a few friends and we were commenting on how, how impressive these greens roll, how fast they are just day in and day out. Um, they're probably some of the better greens that we play, you know, in amateur golf in Northern California. Uh, all year so it's really fun to come here and know that you're going to get good greens uh, their greens are going to be perfect so it's it's a lot of fun to come out here and play let's talk about your round today you absolutely blistered the front nine five birdies shot 31. Um, what was going right for you out there on the front nine especially honestly i just got out to a really good start i i hit my first tee ball in the bunker and I had to lay up so i got it up and down from 100 yards um, and then I hit a really good wedge shot on two and made the putt and then I made about a 25 footer on three So I just got off to a really hot start. Actually, I on, on the fourth hole I missed a five footer for birdie. So it could have been an even better start um, So that's what it was. I got off to a really good start um, And I was hitting it, you know consistently close hitting a lot of fairways and the putter was you know awesome today so anytime for me, I, I'm not a player of a, of a lot of length So if I get the putter going I'm hitting it straight, you know I'll, things can the good things can happen and that's what happened today and that's really what it takes on this golf course um, a lot of is, patience is, yes is, is patience and then just making sure you're you're getting things going on the greens right um short game huge huge part of playing right. this golf course right? correct you know i hit a lot of greens today um and i converted a lot of putts and it was just uh it was just one of those rounds where everything kind of clicked and fell into place and i you know got a couple lucky breaks but it, it all worked out where does a round like 65 uh, in the final round rank for you in terms of just scores you've put up in your in your career? I, you know, honestly, I'm 35 now. It's probably been a long time, probably college days, since I put up a round like this, um, a meaningful round, um, sort of say. So it's a lot of fun to know that, I guess, deep down in these bones, there's a good, a good round, a special round every once in a while. So it's a lot of fun. And I was chatting with one of the two runner-ups, Mark Engelener. Uh, he told me he's going to be your partner uh, a few weeks here at the NCG of four ball. He was saying it was just awesome to see, uh, you know, his partner play so well here. Um, you looking forward to uh, getting together with him? And yeah, it'll be that. our first uh, tournament uh, NCGA wise as, as teammates. And uh, we've been become pretty good friends over the last couple of years since I moved to the Sacramento area. Uh, so we're really looking forward to a couple mid-ams, you know, duking it out against the high school and college kids. is always a lot of fun, so I'm looking forward to it. And any chance you get to play Spyglass is always absolutely always special. It's always a treat to play Spyglass. It's per courses in perfect conditions. You know, it's a lot of history there as well. Course is hard, so we're looking forward to it. Awesome. There, all right, Domingo. Congratulations again. Thanks for chatting with us. Thanks again.